If you're thinking of cleaning your computer screen with toilet paper, tissues, or paper towels, stop. You're going to mess the screen up. The goal of today's video is to show you how to properly clean your computer screen. I'm going to give you three levels of clean, a level one cleaning, level two cleaning, and a level three cleaning. And depending on the degree of dirtiness will be the one that you implement. First things first, make sure you unplug the computer screen and that it's turned off. Next thing what you want to do is you want a microfiber cloth, okay? And we're going to do the level one cleaning. All we're going to do for a level one cleaning is to dust it. The reason we're using this microfiber cloth and as I'm talking, I'm going to show you how to do it. All you do is work your way from top to bottom, removing all the dust. The reason we're using microfiber and we're not using a paper towel, uh, toilet paper, or tissues is because those materials are wood-based. And the fibers in these products will leave little micro-scratches on your screen, and you don't want that. Microfiber, on the other hand, is safe. And when you're dusting and cleaning with your microfiber cloth, all that will be left is a clean computer screen with a nice display. For the level two cleaning, if you have maybe some splatters of saliva on the screen that you need to clean off, or maybe some small little fingerprints, take the same microfiber cloth and get it damp, right? But when I say get it damp, I mean make sure it's not dripping wet. Make sure it is ultra damp, okay? So you shouldn't be able to wring it and water starts to fall out. Make sure that there's no, not a lot of moisture left in this cloth. So you just fold it up nicely and you're just going to remove any fingerprints that you see making small circular motions with your cloth, okay? So if you have a little saliva here, a little saliva there, uh, some fingerprints along the edges, small little circular motions. Don't press too hard though because if you press too hard you could pixelate your screen so don't press too hard. You don't need a lot of pressure here. If it doesn't come off just by doing small little circular motions then what we'll need to do is go to the level 3 cleaning so if your screen is completely plastered right move on to the level 3 cleaning. For the level 3 cleaning what you're going to need is an actual electronics cleaner. How do you know it's an electronic cleaner? Simple. Electronics. So all you'll do is take your little cloth, get your little electronics cleaner, spray it onto the cloth. Don't spray the screen, just spray onto the cloth. Just a little bit, you don't need a lot. And then small little circular motions once again, removing any kind of saliva, fingerprints, just whatever kind of gunk you got on your screen. Not pressing too hard. What's the difference in an electronics cleaner and a regular cleaner? Why can't I use Windex? Why can't I use uh, just household cleaners? Well, the reason why is an electronics cleaner doesn't contain ammonia or alcohol. You take a, a, a you know, like a Windex or something, it's got ammonia in it. Why don't you want ammonia and alcohol? Well, ammonia and alcohol will dry out your screen, mess it up, and over time it will crack on you. And it just is not good for the screen. So you don't want anything with ammonia or alcohol. And that's why if you need to go to level three, get you an electronics cleaner. This isn't the best electronics cleaner in the world because I don't know what the best electronics cleaner is. Um, there's a slew of them on the market, but when you're shopping for it, just make sure that it doesn't contain ammonia or alcohol. That is it. That is how to clean the computer screen. I hope that you found the video valuable. If you did, give it a big clean with confidence, thumbs up. It really helps us out. And if you ever wanted to know how to clean your dishwasher, click the video on the screen, and I'll see y'all in the next one.